Crenshaw Castle. What up y'all? Once again welcome to Crenshaw Castle. For this episode we be looking at the movie, Moscow Does Not Believe in Tears, from back in 1980. The film start the film be set in Moscow in 1958 and 1978. The plot center on three young women, Katerina, Ludmilla, and Antonina, who come to Moscow from smaller towns. They are placed together at a worker's dormitory room and eventually they'll become friends. Antonina be seeing Nikolai, a reserved but kind young man who parent have a dacha in the country. Katerina be a serious, upstanding lady who strives to earn she chemistry degree whilst working at a factory. She be asked to house sit a house for she well to do Moscow relatives whilst they are away on this trip. Ludmilla, a flirty go-getter looking for a well-to-do husband whilst working at a bakery, convinces she to throw a dinner party at the house and pretend that they are the daughter of Katerina Professor Uncle as a ploy to meet successful Muscovite men. At the party, Ludmilla talks with Sergei, a super-famous hockey player whom she met earlier on this subway train. He got fallen in love with she, I think. They later marry. Katerina meet Rudolph, a smooth talker who work as a cameraman for a television channel. They have a date and she become pregnant. During Antonina and Nikolai wedding, Ludmilla and Antonina find out that Katerina be pregnant. Rudolph refuses to marry Katerina. Katerina be unable to get abortion because she pregnancy be at a late stage and end up giving birth to a daughter, Alexandra. She hides from other who was the dad, and even gives she daughter a made-up patronymic Alexandrovna instead of Rudolfovna. Yeah, anyways. We don't want to spoil the movie. If you want, purchase the VHS edition of this movie when you with a little shorty. And we'll see you on the flip side. Late. See you next time. Bye.